Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's project is gonna be this super cute note card holder that I did at a team event, and I also did it at my WOW class. Everyone loved it. And I will say that this was at one of our meetings in Connecticut, and I think it was Bonnie O'Neill who uh, showed us this, and so it is a case from her. So it's got this cute little belly band on that you're gonna pull off, and then inside there's two pockets and it holds four of our note cards and envelopes. And they fit right in those little pockets there and this is one sheet of 12 by 12 DSP scored and folded and it's just awesome, I love it. So let me show you how to create that. I am gonna use the Statement of the Heart stamp and also love what you do. These two were part of a special that we had back I think in May. So, um, let's get started making the actual holder. So I'm going to pull in a piece of DSP. Any designer series paper will work. I do really love this project done with the Share What You Love paper because this is a little bit thicker than our normal designer series paper. It just has a little more weight to it. And so when you do the scoring and the folding, it tends to hold up pretty well. But you could use any designer series paper, which is wonderful because all, well, not all of it, but a lot of our designer paper is on sale this month. Buy three packs, get one free, and no limit. So you could buy a thousand packs and get a bunch for free. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get my simply scored here and try and line this up so you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. So it doesn't really matter where you score because you're going to see both sides of the designer paper. So a, a little trick is to use something that's non-directional, something that doesn't matter whether you're, you know, it has to be upright. So that just makes it a little easier on your mind when you're trying to do all this to not have a worry of which way this paper needs to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score one side at two and a half. And I don't know if you guys know, but the Simply Scored from Stampin' Up has a small end, a little round ball here, and then it's got a fatter round ball. On this end, I like to use this one because it doesn't put as much of an indent into the paper and it tends not to rip. So I do like to use the fat end of my scoring tool. So I'm going to go all the way down two and a half and I'm going to also go eight and one quarter. So I'm going to turn about a quarter turn and I'm going to score at two inches, five and three quarter, six and one quarter, and ten. So I'm all done with that. I'm going to scoot that out of the way. And what I like to do now is just make my folds and kind of burnish them with my bone folder. And that just helps me see a little bit better where they are. Sometimes when you get this busy paper, it's kind of hard to see. where your lines are. So I do like to score them or kind of fold them and then make sure that my I use my bone folder so they're nice and crisp. All right, so now I'm gonna take my end that I've got two inch, this is the two inch, this is the 10 inch here, okay? And I'm gonna just pull these corners in and I just want them to come in and fold just shy of the score line that I created. And again, your bone folder is going to come in handy here. So we're gonna do all four of these corners. One thing that you will notice is that, I'm gonna show you here in a second. This side and this side are not even, and that is, that's okay. This creates a square, this creates a rectangle. That is all right, you've not done something wrong. Everything's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm just gonna bring that fourth, or that third corner in here and do the same. Wait, am I making sure I'm doing this right? Yeah, and the same on this side here. So you wanna be just in front of that score line that you just created. 
Okay, so you've got, whoops, I went way too far on this one here. Let me go backwards and fix that. I'm not sure what I was thinking. All righty, so now we have even corners, all four corners. So I'm just gonna fold, fold these in. I like to go back and run my score line again. Fold those flaps in. Okay, so it should look like this. And then you're gonna fold backwards. And I'm gonna turn it and fold this one backwards as well. So this now is the front of my holder and this is my inside and these little corners tuck right up inside each other. Okay, so if you've got a little bubble, you can kind of work it out a little bit. Just ask the paper to fold nicely. As one of my customers says, just bend it to your will, but you have to be nice about it. And then those little scores that you have on the inside are kind of what makes your binding on the back. Like that would be a book binding kind of. So there you go. There is your holder ready to go. Love that, love it, love it. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of roll along here. We're gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna pull in my note cards. I've got a piece of basic black here. These are the note cards that are already scored and fold, or cut and scored. They come that way. That basic black's gonna go on here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on using my designer series paper that's from the same pack to share what you love. And I'm gonna kind of roll through these pretty fast and I will make sure that you have the dimensions so you know how to create them at home. And I'm gonna run out of adhesive. That's awesome, isn't it? Love when that happens on a video. At least I'm not live, right? All right, hold on, I gotta grab some more. All right, let's see if this one will work. I'm gonna use some of our shimmery black ribbon, wrap this around here to cover up that little seam I created. Okay, that's gonna be one of our cards. You'll see up here that I have a host code written. I am running a special because I'm getting ready to leave on Wednesday to join our Stampin' Up! friends on an Alaska cruise. And I um, am running a special while I'm away. So if you have a $50 purchase, between July 14th and July 30th using that host code, I'm going to enter you into a drawing to win a Stamparatus. So it's a $50 value, everyone. So go to www.jodybreckbill.stampinup.net. You can find it at the end of this video. Place your order of $50 or more for each 50. You get entered into a drawing to win a Stamparatus, which is awesome. So make sure you use that code though. That allows it to ship directly to your home and you don't have to wait. It will process as soon as you close your order. So yay for that. All right, so I just used some Grapefruit Grove cardstock, Memento Black ink, and layering ovals and stitched shape framelits. So now I'm gonna come in here with my artisan pearls that I think are just gorgeous. You can tell because look, my pack is darn near gone. I don't have much left. And I'm just gonna put a couple of those coordinating, oops, let's go back a little bit. I kinda wanted them to round a little bit. Okay, so there's one card, note card that's done and let's get another note card out so i've got another note card got some tranquil tie designer series paper another piece of our share what you love and i'm going to notch that with our banner punch well, that didn't sound like it went through the whole way Oh, that keeps happening. I'm not sure why. My lock 
keep sliding. All right, little stamp or little glue on here. And then I have some of our new ruffled ribbon, which I really, really like. I think that's just beautiful. And attach that around here. I have two pieces of that. So I can do one, it's gonna wrap around. I'm gonna do some extra adhesive up there just to make sure it sticks. That's gonna go onto my note card. And then this piece will just slide under here and that's gonna create my little knot. I don't, I don't do bows, they get to be a little bit too thick and uh, they're not, not super fun to mail. So they're also sometimes not super fun to actually create. So I tie a lot of bows for folks. So when in doubt, do a knot. All right, do some stamping here. And this, these are scallop shaped. Uh, wait, wait, what am I trying to think of? Not scallop. Um, yeah, scallop and circle layering ovals. That's what I'm going for. I'm stamping and not really not really thinking. All right, tranquil tide ink. And I'm gonna use the, you have a nice to have a friend like you. Stamp that guy on there. Love this ink, just, it's so gorgeous. And then I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna use mint macaron and just use a couple, um, couple flowers there. And then I'm gonna come back in with my pearls, which I have lost in my mess. There we go. So I'm just gonna put a pink one in there, I think. It looks like I'm out of the razzleberry ones. I do have some of the green ones though. Where'd you go? Green one, and then I do still have yellow too. So we'll use those. Glue these guys together and a little dimensional. I can just pop that right onto my card. There we go. Beautiful card, another card done. And let's see what else do we have here. I'm missing a card. Here we go. I'm missing two cards. Another note card and envelope. I've got the scallop in white and then the grapefruit I have in the stitch shapes again. And she ha. Some designer series paper attached to a larger panel of the grapefruit grove. And then that's going to go on my card base. those pop dot wrappers out of here and I'm gonna take I need thank you for this one I like the fact that this is using one stamp set I think that's so great that one stamp set will give us so many different options Are you stuck down a little bit? Some dimensionals again, just to give it a little pop. There we go. There's a card and I have one more. This one I did a little bit more stamping on and I'm gonna stamp that piece. So I did take a piece of mint macaron and I ran that through the garden trellis embossing folder just to give a little bit of texture we're going to attach that down here and then i'm going to do some stamping um i can tell that i'm missing something but that's okay we're going to make it work so let me see here nope i can't i need a rich razzleberry ink pad
<clears throat> sorry about that kids I thought I had everything that I needed but it so happens that I don't sometimes that happens but usually everything I have well I don't like that at all flip it over let's get a little more ink on this stamp Breck Bill oh something's wrong with my stamp I can tell that it's got a little indent in there but that's okay all right so we have some rich razzleberry and then I'm gonna do some mint with some little leaves here fill those in a little bit and I had this stamp I used a little bit earlier. Whoops, sorry guys. I used that a little bit earlier. And I'm going to clean that off on our new Simply Chamois. If you guys have not tried this thing, oh, 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 it is so amazing. It is a must-have. So I've got them in my studio. We just started playing with them. And everyone is enjoying them very much. They just clean and pull that ink right off of your stamp. Love it. And when it's full of ink, you just rinse it off. And away you go. All right, so there we go. That's looking pretty good. Attach this to my card front. And because that seam is there, I wanna cover that up. And I'm gonna use a piece of our super soft and lovely Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon tie a little piece around here and then we're going to attach that to our card base always like to put some extra adhesive here to make sure that that ribbon does not come off and I have that piece again I'm gonna pull in my whoopsie well I don't know I am missing a stamp I see and if you guys could see my oh my gosh I am I'm a mess here I have got junk everywhere but that's all right since I don't have that stamp we're gonna use something else so I want to clean that off and I'm gonna use my mint macaron and stamp this on here like so and put a couple razzleberry some little razzleberries in there all right we're moving along here folks let's glue that down to a scallop piece Perfect. Couple dimensionals. There we are. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four note cards, and my little holder here. So these are going to just slide right in the sides perfectly the envelopes will go in there too I just don't have those on my my stamp space just yet and there we go so now to hold this shut we do create a belly band and I'm gonna pull my score tool back in show you that So I have a piece of basic black, which is one and a half by 10, and I'm going to score at two and a half, three and one quarter, seven, and seven and three quarters. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do my folds here. And then what I like to do is wrap sorry I'm losing my train of thought here because I have an extra piece of something 
and I'm missing something. But uh, what I like to do here is wrap this around and then I'm going to attach it. I like to do it whenever my holder actually has the cards in it rather than when it's empty so that I can make sure I get just the right amount of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, so that it, it still slides off but doesn't fall off, I guess is what I'm saying. And then I like to have the seam in the front because I'm gonna put my piece over top here and that will totally cover up my seam, okay? So that's what we end up with is this little panel or this, yeah, this little belly band here and that will slide on and off. And there are your note cards. So I am actually going to give this away. So what you need to do if you're watching this movie, whether you're on YouTube, my Facebook channel, uh, or my Facebook page, wherever you're seeing this, if it was emailed to you, I want you just to leave a comment and I'm going to give one away. So I am leaving for vacation on Wednesday. This movie is gonna air on Monday, July hmm, 16th, I believe, and I leave on the 18th, but I'm going to pick a winner when I return on July 31st. So you have from the time you're watching this movie to July 31st to make a comment and uh, one of you will win this. So thank you so much for joining me. I know this video went a little bit long. Um, you can also shop online. Like I said, I'm giving away a Stamparatus. Everyone who has a $50 purchase gets an entry. So use that host code at checkout, shop my online store. And uh, thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Have a great week, and I will see you at, in August for Movie Monday.